Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be shining light on what is the nomadic life. So what is the nomadic life? You may ask without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify the answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Embracing living the nomadic life essentially entails living as a vagrant. As a nomad, you have no permanent domicile. You may be pivoting from domicile to domicile. You may be also pivoting from job to job. How you choose to live your nomadic life is predicated upon your life decisions. If you choose to be a nomad, your life will be replete with experiences. As a nomad, you have more purview over your sacrosanct, indispensable, finite, precious, and valuable time. As a nomad, your life does not solely revolve around profusely working. As a nomad, you typically lack job stability. You typically lack job security. However, as a nomad, you typically have a lower cost of living and you have more purview over how your sacrosanct, indispensable, finite, precious time is earmarked. As a nomad, you wind up embracing the minimalist mindset. You retain very few possessions. Most nomads are discontent with paying for a storage unit in perpetuity to retain their possessions. Nomads may pivot from hostel to hostel. They may pivot from couch to couch, or they may even live in their vehicle. They may have a minivan, they may have an RV, or they may even have a conventional vehicle. Their lives are replete with rich experiences. Their lives revolve around living their lives rather than incessantly, unremittingly, ceaselessly working. Most people are deterred to embrace living the nomadic life. It is so disparate relative to their traditional, conventional, monotonous lifestyle. A nomadic life is characterized by constant change. Your life will be incessantly changing when you live the nomadic life. How is your life in flux as a nomad? Well, as a nomad, your work site can change frequently. Your environment can change frequently. And the new novel unprecedented experiences that you bask in experiencing can be vastly disparate from anything that you experienced in the past. As a nomad, you may procure seasonal job opportunities. You may also work in the capacities of a freelancer or as an entrepreneur. As a nomad, you're not maladaptive. You have to be adaptive. You have to be willing to adjust your life. Adapt to your environment. And make beneficent modifications to your life on a whim. You cannot afford to defer doing so. Nomads who are discontent with living out of their vehicles may pivot from motel to motel or hostel to hostel or from couch to couch. As a nomad, your life is constantly in flux. It is exciting. It is exhilarating. And you're, more, you're all the more apt to be gleeful, buoyant, jubilant, jovial, and euphoric if you love living an exhilarating life. A nomadic life may be characterized by precarity and uncertainty, but some people prefer to 
delve into the unknown rather than live a more stable life in which every day is just essentially, metaphorically speaking, a carbon copy of the previous day. When every day is monotonous, repetitious, and lackluster, it can degrade your life, it can undermine your happiness. However, as a nomad, every day is disparate. Life is exciting and stimulating, and living the nomadic life provides people with a nomadic lifestyle that is ineffably stimulating no facets because it allows them to avail themselves of new experiences. It allows them to meet new people, live in new environments, and work new jobs and engage in more social activities than they otherwise would be able to if they were tethered to an employer for 80 plus hours a week in order to be able to finance a mortgage so that they can retain their possessions. The less possessions you have, the lower cost of living you have. Housing possessions is expensive. Financing housing costs is a fortune. And the irony is that when you take out a mortgage to finance the acquisition of a home, you mortgage away your future. It's paradoxical and ironical because all your time is earmarked towards working to be able to finance a mortgage. And when you're dispossessed of your time, when you're bereft of your time, when you're eviscerated out of your time, when you're siphoned out of your time, it preempts you, it precludes you, it causes you to forfeit living your life how you deem fit. So, nomads do not have the onerous albatross of being burdened by having enormous lofty expenses that keep them tethered to an employer for a prolonged period of time or that would otherwise cause them to need to work for close to 100 hours per week to just retain what they possess. So, I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.